From the Salesforce Tower in downtown San Francisco, it's theCUBE, covering Accenture Tech Vision 2019, brought to you by SiliconANGLE Media. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're in downtown San Francisco in the Salesforce Tower. Accenture's taken over five floors of the, of the uh, Salesforce Tower and they're opening their brand new innovation hub. It's pretty cool, formal ribbon cutting earlier today. We're excited to be here. It's three floors of cool innovation and then a couple work floors. So if you get a chance, come check it out. A lot of co-creation, a lot of neat uh, technology happening. But we're here to talk about something a little bit different. That's championship basketball. So we're excited to be joined by Jeremy Doom. He's a senior director of digital experience from the Golden State Warriors. Jeremy, great to see you. Great to see you, thank and you. And he's accompanied by Greg Jensen, managing director from Accenture, welcome. Thank you, great to be here. So digital experience, you guys are getting ready to embark on a big new adventure. It's a big construction project just south of, I was going to say AT&T Park, Oracle Park now, right. the new Chase Center. Yeah. A lot of talk, really excitement. Tell us about what is going on at the Chase yeah. Center. No, there's never a dull moment at the offices these days. As the, uh, the Golden State Warriors organization is going through a, a pretty big transition, um, a transformation from basketball team that, that leases a building 50 nights a year into an entertainment company that owns and operates a world-class facility. And so all, all eyes are, are pointing to this project. Um, all thought is going on onto the project and it's a really exciting time in the organization. It's really an amazing story of, of how much impact leadership really has. I mean, you had a perennial doormat franchise, right, that hadn't been to the playoffs for a long time. I mean, David Lee shows up as the first all-star in Lord knows how long, and, and, and they have completely transformed that franchise on the basketball side. And now you see the same kind of energy vision vision probably is really the best word in now moving from Oracle Arena, one of the most beloved basketball home courts, into the new Chase Center. So, what if you could just share some insight on what it is like to work for these guys? You know, what is the passion? How do they drive it down through the whole organization? It's it's incredible. Um, I say that, that on a daily basis, there is an energy level and an excitement about um, uh, taking this organization to the next level and there is no rest. We know that sports is cyclical and the performance on the court is going to be cyclical, but the business can operate in a way and create an environment uh, that, a, that a business can, can succeed and thrive. And that's part of the move into Chase Center is the organization is expanding, the business is expanding into different areas that we've never been in before, so it's, uh, it's, it's exciting. Right. So how long have you been working with the Warriors? About 18 months. 18 months. And why do they bring you in? What are you helping them with? So we are the Warriors' official technology innovation partner. And as Jeremy and the team were thinking through the fan experience, they were assembling a really great team of partners. And one of those partners is Accenture. And so the reason that I'm here is because I spent about three and a half years working with uh, other media companies on transformations doing sort of similar fan experience design. And it's really my job to bring the best of Accenture to the Warriors and make sure that as they're innovating on the fan experience that we're helping them and that we're there as great partners to support them along the way. Right. So what, so what are some of the things now in the new fan experience besides just being the loudest arena in the NBA? Well, the, the, I think the most exciting thing that I'm working on with, with Greg and the Accenture team is um, the mobile application of the future. We have a Warriors app that exists now that serves a, a very specific purpose. But uh, we're, we, as we move into a new building and a new district that surrounds the building and have a variety of events, we need a new mobile experience also. So we will be building this new mobile experience for as an application built for specifically for the local fan. Anyone that can or should or will be coming to the district to an enjoy an event at Chase Center. And of course, as we have a global fan base, there will still be content and interesting things to bring in a global audience to the mobile app. But this is really designed for the local fan to say, how can we help you uh, if you have a ticket to an upcoming event? Or if you don't have a ticket to an event but just kind of want to see what's happening on the district, how can we help that experience along the way? And all the different touch points that, that go along with a, a game or an event experience. Right. So how much of the mobile app is, is kind of a, a launching point into the other things that are happening at the Chase Center versus being kind of its self-contained experience in and of itself? I would, I'd love for, for your, your opinion on yeah. this too. I think the, the thing that the Warriors have done really well 
is they position technology as enabler of the overall end-to-end -end experience. And so think of the mobile app as sort of the gateway that ties a lot of that experience together. But certainly there are other exciting activations that will happen within the Chase Center throughout the district. And the Warriors know how to put on a great show, both on the court and off. And so it's really that blend of sort of that background technology that's orchestrating this in concert, along with that front, in-your-face, exciting Warrior brand and anthem that is really going to get folks excited. Right. Yeah, we talk an awful lot about how we don't want technology to be the story. We want it to live in the background and help enhance the fan experience rather than being the, the headline. Right. I was going to say, I'm sure the purists are like, you know, I want to come... I want to come watch a basketball game. It's it's a beautiful game. This is why I paid a big ticket price, and this is what I want to watch. I don't need all these distractions with all these other things. So when you think about the experience and integrating it, as you said, as, as an amplification of, of watching the basketball game versus a distraction or something that takes away from the core. Right. You know, how do you kind of balance those priorities? How do you? You know, kind of level set, uh, you know, new feature request or, yes. you know, new workflow request versus, you know, don't forget, at the end of the day, it's still about the basketball game first. It is. And, and in addition to the basketball game, it's all about the 200 other events that will be there. Think of all the concerts and family shows that could be coming to a facility that San Francisco has never had before. So the, the, the mobile experience is supposed to get enhanced, and I think we're spending a lot of time thinking through the moment you think about coming to an event, is when that sort of experience begins, and the mobile app should be a conduit to help and not get in the way of the experience, which is that thing that's on the stage or on right, the court. Right, right. It's really great. A good friend of mine is Bill Schlout. He's the CIO of the Giants, right? And every year they go through some big, huge technology uh, play, whether it's a new Jumbotron or it's you know, a new Wi-Fi under the seats. And, you know, it's just really cool, like I say, this delicate balance where, you know, you want to bring in the tech, people are expected, to have tech, they want their Instagram to work when they send a picture, you know, with the Absolutely. kids. Um, but again, it's got to be, it's got to be, you know, I don't want to say secondary, but it is secondary or a little bit behind, behind the scenes. And, and I think the Warriors have been really thoughtful around using the application to help coming to the district and Chase Center become an experience. And what I mean by that is your ability to do wayfinding from your home to get to your seat your ability to book a car service if you choose to leave the district or after a game, the ability to just sort of make your life more simplistic around the game so that getting to and getting from the event is much simpler and much more streamlined for the fan. But when you're in that experience, sure, you can pull up the stats to see that Steph's hit 11 three-pointers in a row and broken Clay's most recent record. Or you certainly can just enjoy the game for what it is. Right, right. All right. Well, before I let you go, thanks for bringing the trophy to Jeremy. Very, uh, very nice. Just what, just what, what one or two like totally unique nuggets you can share at the Chase Center that that are completely new and maybe kind of fall below the radar that you think are pretty cool. Well, I don't, I don't know if I want to give too many secrets away, but I will say that I think the the experience will be something that, that cannot miss from the visuals and where it's placed. I think just the visuals, uh, when you see the aesthetics, is going to blow everyone away. And I think, hopefully, if we do it right, the, uh, the technology and the mobile experience will, will be an element to it, but won't be the leading story. All right. Well, thanks for uh, stopping by. Congrats on all the, uh, the rings. And uh, I look forward to what's one more season, right? We have one more season to go. Here we go. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right. He's Greg. He's Jeremy. I'm Jeff. You're watching The Cube. We're at the Accenture Innovation Hub in downtown San Francisco. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.